you are looking live at launch phase 6 at site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Where it is early afternoon. Where a Soyuz 2.1 a booster stand fully fueled and where the was praise of the day is the light camera action. A veteran Russian cosmonaut, a veteran Russian actress and veteran Russian film producer and director are poised to blast of less than 40 minutes from now to delivery a new Soyuz spacecraft to the International Space Station. The Soyuz MS-19 and film elements of the movie title challenge as a part of an agreement between the Russian space agency Roscosmos and Moscow-based media production company. Good morning from Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room where another unique chapter in the expansion of commercial space activities is about to be written. 49-year-old Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov about to begin his fourth flight into space, flanked on his left aboard the Soyuz by 38-year-old film producer-director Klim Shapenko, and on his right by 37-year-old actress April next March, returning to Earth in the Soyuz MS-19 with NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei and Russian cosmonaut Pyotr Dutspan, uh, the population of the station from seven crew members to enter uh, to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan about a week and a half ago this past Saturday on a gorgeous morning uh, in uh, the Central Asian desert. Uh, the traditional rollout of the Soyuz uh, booster and uh, the Soyuz MS-19 began from the integration building to which uh, the elements of the uh, Soyuz had been mated over the course of the past few days. Uh, for launch operations at Site 31, it is a short trip from that integration building to the launch pad, only about a 30-minute rollout. The uh, rollout again taking place uh, under cool uh, conditions, very cold conditions uh, for an early October morning uh, in Baikonur as uh, the Soyuz slowly made its way uh, horizontal on the rail car that is traditional uh, to reach the launch pad where the rocket this past Saturday to the launch pad. We can tell you that uh, the Soyuz was fully fueled uh, about uh, four and a half hours ago. The crew arrived at the launch pad uh, some two and a half hours ago, uh, climbed uh, aboard. Uh, we'll be seeing a launch day uh, activity B-roll uh, coming up a short time from now, about 10 minutes from now, on our feed from Baikonur. Again, you can see uh, the hydraulics uh, off of the rail car lifting uh, the Soyuz booster to its vertical position. Again, this uh, occurred this past Saturday. Once uh, they climbed aboard the spacecraft earlier this morning, Shkaplerov, Shapenko, and Parasild conducted leak checks on their Sokol launch and entry suits, and everything uh, was reported to be in good shape for a liftoff that is scheduled just 34 minutes from now. Launch time is 3.55 and 2 seconds a.m. Central Time. Uh, the vehicle to enshroud uh, the spacecraft, allowing uh, the technicians to begin hooking up all of the uh, critical connections for data, for power, and for fuel uh, that uh, enable them to begin the final few days of processing of the Soyuz for a launch that is coming up a short time from now. Fly directly over the Baikonur Cosmodrome 33 seconds after launch, its trajectory allowing it to leapfrog ahead of played uh, for the crew on board uh, by uh, the launch uh, conductor at Obviously in good spirits, uh, the equipment that Shapenko will be using to capture uh, Parasil uh, during the filming of the movie on board the International Space Station was launched to the orbital outpost on a previous progress resupply mission. Good morning. So are you in good mood? Oh, Pashinko didn't get here. 
Паша, доброе утро. Ладно, не будем его будить, поднимайся, не будем будить. Проверка на герметичность у Антона Шкаплерова. Он проверяет перчатки. Фина... Uh, вот, надевает перчатки. Этот процесс будет длиться минимум еще полчаса, потому что проверить на герметичность скафандра сокол КВ-2 нужно у каждого космонавта. Слушай, я думаю, что я могу подойти. Я слышу, слышу. Вставай так высоко-то. Ну, Еще раз. Еще раз. Давай. And a view inside uh, the uh, descent module, a good view of Yulia Parasild uh, in the right seat. To her left in the center seat is Soyuz Commander Anton Shkaplerov, about to begin his fourth flight into space. Launch late. As three helmets are closed and uh, rescue aid KSS are ready. Copy. KSS rescue aid. Engine turbo pump set flight. Engine ignition. Turbo pumps coming up to flight speed and liftoff. Liftoff of Soyuz MS-19 with an actress and her producer beginning a journey to the International Space Station. Tanj Kaplarov with the pointer to his left, Klim Shapenko. 90 seconds into the flight. The first and second stage thrusters are firing nominally. We have casual parameters. 100 seconds into the flight. 110 seconds. I'm standing by for first stage separation. You reported. And first stage separation confirmed. 762 is the pressure in the thermal control loop uh, copy nominal. The vehicle stabilization is 
good vehicle stability reported from the blockhouse in Baikonur. The Soyuz 29 miles in altitude, 35 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. Two minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. The shroud is jettisoned. So we have uh, the automated descent flag. Copy. A good view. 170 seconds. One eighty seconds. Vehicle stable, good motion control parameters as we pass the three minute mark into the flight. We are seeing the video from the external camera. Two hundred seconds into the flight. Second stage shutdown uh, will come at the four minute 37 second mark into the flight. This view from a camera on the upper stage of the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Two hundred twenty seconds, that's three. Do you copy me? We copy you loud and clear. Everything is good on board. The crew is feeling fine. Thank you. Copy. Passing the four minute mark into the flight. All the reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur are excellent performance by the Soyuz. All systems are nominal on board. Copy as seen. Two hundred and sixty seconds, all parameters are nominal. Four and a half minutes into the flight, standing by for second stage shutdown. Two eighty seconds into flight. And we have second stage separation. Soyuz traveling almost 10,000 miles an hour, 97 miles in altitude, 287 miles downrange from Baikonur. 310 seconds. Five minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Three hundred and thirty seconds of flight. Uh, Third stage uh, performance reported to be normal as we hit the five minute forty six second mark into the flight. Three minutes of powered flight remaining. Third stage is working stable. Is stable. We got. It. Three sixty seconds of flight. Roll pigeon, your are uh, nominal. Third stage performance continues uh, to be excellent. Six and a half minutes into the flight. Everything's fine on board. All systems are nominal. Copy. Or 20 seconds of flight. Yaw, pitch and roll, all reported to be nominal. Do you have the power car ready? Five 
seconds of flight. Is the Ubica ready? Eight and a half minutes into the flight, about 15 seconds away from third Five, stage shutdown ten. and spacecraft separation. Get ready to for separation. Five twenty seconds of flight is no longer illuminated, and we are closing ARPA um, valves one and two. Please move on to page. Uh, 35, and that's going to be table 3.2-1. So it was a uh, flawless ascent to orbit for the Soyuz MS-19. Everything went uh, by the book. Liftoff occurring on time at 3.55 and 2 seconds a.m. Central Time, which was 1.55 p.m. at the launch site of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Eight minutes and 46 seconds later, third stage shutdown on the Soyuz 2.1A booster and Soyuz separation from the third stage with the solar arrays and navigational antennas having been deployed. The chase is on. A quick two-orbit rendezvous upcoming for Anton Shkaplerov, Klim Shapenko, and Yulia Parasild. SR pressure is 8.15. Bow pressure. 7.36. Instrumentation compartment 8.93. How copy? We copy, we're standing by for the next measurement. It's going to be in five minutes. Astray, MCC Moscow. We have uh, 13 uh, selection of the PO cut two uh, illuminated. Could you please repeat the PO pressure? PO pressure is eight. Three six copy eight three six. Please um, stand by. Uh, please up there, command should go through. Um, and um, please monitor the process. So the Soyuz uh, MS nineteen and its three occupants, including a veteran uh, Russian actress and her producer are heading to the International Space Station where they will spend the next uh, 12 days filming a movie titled Challenge. We're about uh, 43 minutes away from the start of the automated rendezvous sequence, a series of uh, pre-programmed uh, International Space Station. We uh, no longer have indicator mode illuminated. And I confirm OSK built. Copy. PKV 2 and 2 1. Parameter can do ignore me. KDU parameters are nominal. We copy. Astray, we are standing by for the measurements uh, from number 17 up to number This is Mission Control Houston uh, with uh, the three uh, occupants of the Soyuz MS-19 now well on their way to the International Space Station following a flawless launch uh, this morning from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. In Kazakhstan, everything went by the book. No issues, a flawless ascent to orbit uh, with spacecraft separation occurring eight minutes and 46 seconds after liftoff. With the Soyuz now chasing the International Space Station, uh, we'll uh, offer this programming note. We'll be back on the air a little over two hours from now at uh, 6.30 a.m. Central Time.